Don't touch that dial. Listen to... Crime does not pay. This is the city, your city. There are one million stories in this city, some pretty, some ugly. This one's sort of half and half, pretty ugly. This is County Jail, the most secure jail in this part of the country. What's this? Can it be a prisoner is escaping? And the prisoner looks like it is the infamous Babyface Mitchell. Well, it looks like Police Commissioner Fuzia has discovered the escape. But it looks like Babyface is too fast for the aging commissioner. What's this? Babyface has lost one of his shoes. Commissioner Fuzia, knowing this is a very important clue, picks up the shoe and takes it back for further study. But right now, walking the streets of our city, taking his dog for a walk, is the champion of justice himself, here disguised as mild-mannered TV producer, Ed Tarbouche. Sensing something is wrong at City Hall, he engages his X-ray vision and looks through the walls of City Hall to see the police commissioner's plight. Seeing this sends Tarbush into action. He finds a convenient phone booth where he takes the pills that will transform him from Ed Tarbush into the feared crime fighter. So... And look, Tarbush's ordinary beagle has turned into the magnificent Soul Dog. It's Soul Man, the commissioner exclaims. He hastily explains the escape of Babyface to Soul Man and shows him his only clue, Babyface's shoe. Soul Man lets Soul Dog get the criminal set by smelling the shoe. And Soul Man tells the commissioner not to worry, for Soul Dog is the greatest tracker in the universe. Off they go, with a super sense of smell of Soul Dog, Babyface doesn't have a chance. Well, it looks like Soul Dog got his wires crossed a bit. But don't worry, he'll get him next time when we present Soul 